Hi, hello, assalamu alaikum. This is Farooq Loon again with pronunciation tips. I welcome all of you to my English class. So, because of poor connectivity here, I'm uploading right now short videos. And second reason is that I thought that it might cover more students irrespective of their classes. So next week, inshallah, I'll be trying to upload textbook contents. Here we are on pronunciation chart. Here, pronunciation silent. The red letters you see in each of the word is silent. These, this T is silent in each of the word. First word is Kossel, C-A-S-T-L-E, Kossel, in which they pronounce it as Kossel, and in America, they pronounce it as Castle. In next slide, I will try to explain the meaning of these words and also show some pictures. This word is fossil, F-A-S-T-N, fossil, T is silent. We have this word now, any guesses? It's not mortgage, it's mortgage, mortgage. Then we have this fourth word is not often, it's often, T is again silent. Then we have this, it's a nut, T is silent, it's not chestnut, it's chestnut, chestnut. Then we have uh, this French word, T is silent, it's ballet or valley, ballet. Belly. And last word we have not soft. T is silent. So it is soften. Here, coastal, fossil, mortgage, often, chestnut, belly or ballet, soften. Let's try to explain the meaning of each of the word. Here you see is a coastal. Coastal is a noun actually a large building typically the con typically of the medieval period fortified against attack with thick walls battlements towers and in many cases a moat so this is castle now we have fasten it's a verb fasten your seat belts so fasten is close or do obscurely. The theory was fastened with a row of gilt buttons. So this is fasten. You can read other meanings of fasten in dictionaries or you can google it. Then we have mortgage. Mortgage. Here, mortgage. Any guesses what mortgage is? This guy is looking worried because he sees I still had 80 years of mortgage payments left. That means what mortgage is? A legal agreement by which a bank, building, society, etc. lends money at interest in exchange for taking title of the debtor's property with the condition that the conveyance of title becomes void upon the payment of the debt. Example is here given. I put down a hundred thousand in cash and took out a mortgage for the rest. Another word is often. It's an adverb meaning frequently or many times. He often goes for long walks by himself. Like you see here, often. This is often. Antonyms of sometimes, seldom or never. Then we have this 
I hope you might have seen these nuts in Srinagar City in late autumn. They roast it and sell it on hawkers. So chestnut is a noun, a tree or a shrub of the genus Castania, the nut of this tree or shrub. A dog, reddish brown color, color. Okay. Now we have this French word, it's ballet, a type of dance like you see this doll dancing in a particular style, an artistic dance from an artistic dance form performed to music using precise and uh, precise and highly formalized set steps and gestures like you see in the picture is belly type of dance then we have soften it's a verb like we say soften your lips by applying petroleum jelly so right here in this picture he's softening the butter make or become soft or softer then we have other words which have t silent in them let's read them gourmet rapper ricochet penchant Depot, Debbie, Chauvelet, Shelley. So there is a small note for you. Either Google for these words, I use dictionary and find out their meanings. So it's up to you. This is what you have to do by yourselves. Also find which of them are French words. So some of them in these words are French words. Find some more words with silent letter T. So it's all for today let's end it at a beautiful quote not everyone you see sorry not everyone you lose is a loss not everyone 